Tomorrow, voters in Charleston will head to the polls and cast their ballots for mayor. Our profile of the candidates continue now with Leon Stavronakis. Well, it's very important that we continue to address uh, flooding in Charleston. You know, we're a low-lying coastal city, so we're always going to have some flooding, but we need a mayor uh, who's serious about it. We've got some plans that are underway now and some others that need funding, and it's very important that Charleston have a mayor who has proven relationships with other local governments, with Columbia officials, and with uh, our congressional delegation to go out and secure the really big funding that is needed for these projects. They're very, very expensive projects. We're not going to fund them in a city budget. We need a proven leader, again, with proven relationships that can go out and secure the funding to continue to build solutions in different parts of the city to alleviate flooding. Talking about building solutions, building infrastructure, what is your plan or what are your ideas for improving Charleston's infrastructure while maintaining the integrity and beauty of the city so that people aren't in long, long lines in traffic every day? Yeah, well, you know, this is really personal to me. I've grown up in West Ashley my whole life and my wife Ann and I live there now. I commute every morning. I take my kids to school um, and then I commute into work. So I'm a, a commuter myself. I sit in this traffic every day, just like most folks. And again, uh, this is something that's going to be expensive. We've got to finish 526. I'm proud to have, uh, to have secured the first $420 million for that project. I've been committed to it for a long period of time, not just since I started running for mayor. I will continue to work and make that a very high priority. We've got to synchronize our traffic lights. There's amazing advanced technology now available out there that we're not utilizing that will synchronize lights on corridors like Savannah Highway. Highway 61, Glen McConnell, Folly Road, to allow traffic to move much more smoothly and allow people to get to work and back home to their families much quicker. And then we need a comprehensive approach targeting our worst choke points across the region. Again, that screams out for someone who has a proven record of working across party lines with other local leaders and relationships with uh, people in Columbia and in Washington, where we need to, again, secure big funding to meet Charleston's transportation needs. And we'll have more of our candidate profiles coming up tonight on News 2 at 11 o'clock. We'll hear from Toby Smith. And you can also hear the full interviews by going to our website, countonto.com. There you will find the other interviews with the candidates, polling locations, and more. And we will update election results as they come in tomorrow night.